you. All right, and here we are back with Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. So, this is going to be a bit of a shorter episode, but it's real good. Trust me on this one. <laughs> going to have a bit of new gameplay at the end. But first, of course, we've got to do the thing that I know and love, and that is talking to NPCs. I'm not going to go all around town, but some people do have new dialogue. Not the cops, though. Don't bother talking to them. It's a good lovely life lesson in general. Once this LP is over, I'm going to look up the task. Because I feel like you can get some ridiculous motion with, uh, or movement options, rather, with that grappling hook, whatever it's called. I am pretty sure you can. Also, here's this amazing man. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've heard <laughs> this game has, uh, maybe not the most beneficial, uh, boundary glitches, but I do know that you can do some weird stuff. Yeah, get out of there, Goemon. <laughs> He's gonna get a crit on you, Goemon. <laughs> I'm in love with this Thundergate. <laughs> Why don't we start a society of gate for Thundergate fuckers? Is there a single normal person in this town? No. I mean, you, you gotta do your own digging on that UFO, my dude. Everyone is just a fucking freak. Alright, so this is where I'm pretty sure they did not actually look over the uh, translated dialogue, because there's a whole lot of either spelling mistakes or just real weird wording in some of this dialogue. <laughs> if you die and you don't save your game, there's nothing I can do to help you. That was the most normal person. <laughs> I mean, that dog was pretty normal. It hates UFOs and carrots, as we all do. But it's a dog that talks. Yeah? Actually, I'm fine with carrots. <laughs> oh my god! This is the Lord's Super Pass! <laughs> I love how dramatic this guard is about the Super Pass. With this, you can access everything on his OnlyFans. Not gonna think about that one. Uh, my mistake, uh, this is Feudal Japan, so it's Oni fans. <laughs> you know what? I still have I am curious Tuesday. about that one. Okay. Well, fair enough. <laughs> Just in case he watches this video and gets mad at me for stealing his joke there. I admit it. Uh, so, you can go find a Silver Fortune doll over here. Easy enough one to pick up. But there's nothing we can do otherwise. Uh, we heard from somebody in town that there's a metal box in the way of the road here. And we cannot pass that, so we've only got one place we can go. And that's to this doorway over here. After we smash this guy. Alright, so in we go into the tunnel. Which is absent of music, it's just tunnel ambience. It's weirdly spooky. Well, maybe not spooky, but... It is strangely atmospheric, I will say. It's always weird when a game drops music. Mm -hmm. Especially one as lively as this. That was a trick Advance Wars never pulled. Like, you get to the final boss, and the final, like, CEO has no CEO theme. All their turns just take place in dead silence. That would make for a boring turn. <laughs> But the first time it happened, it would be scary as hell. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so we've got a big ol' hill to climb, but this isn't really too bad of a platforming challenge. In fact, oddly enough, it doesn't involve the pipe that much, so... I guess I could have used a Bizumaru here. But I didn't. <laughs> It's a bit of a shame because we're not going to be seeing as much of him soon. We weren't seeing much of him in the first place, but I believe next episode, even less of him. You may have already mentioned this, but does the PC Mario get, like, things he can do that Goemon can't, or is he just strictly yes. the worst player character? Okay. Yeah. 
He gets his own stuff, though, if I remember correctly. It's probably the least used out of everything. <laughs> In the very last level, they finally give him the pipe. Oh, hey, look, there's a uh, frog cut man, I guess. That's th what that's supposed to be. Oh, no! <laughs> Avenge me! <laughs> Well, I mean, I was going to say this is a nice-looking area, oh, oh my, because of the uh, sunset going on, but, oh, that 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 was brutal, oh, jeez. Uh, going on is voiced by George Decay. I, I do, going on. I don't, you get rid of it. Oh, my God, it, it's Wise Man's Magic Conch. You know, Wise Man, the character we haven't really heard of up until this point, but he's important. <laughs> oh my god, you're the weirdo from Oedo Castle. I don't know why I always love characters in this game saying, oh my god. There's just something so delightful about it. It's not nice to call people names. I'm going to crush you with my robot. This is how we teach children manners. <laughs> well, you know what? I refuse to learn manners, because we just picked up the magic conch, and that can summon our favorite actor, Impact. He's all the way in, the, in America, but he'll come for us. And now, impact. I thought he just got shot with a laser. Hi. Impact has his own theme. It's from, I believe it's from an actual CD. Uh, just, you know, compressed for the N64 and all that. <laughs> anyway, we're playing as we Impact. Go. Smash everything. Smash enemies, smash the environment. Uh, the environment will give you more fuel, enemies will give you more fuel. Oh no, the town! Uh, you'll need both of them for the upcoming battle. <laughs> that was the town we just came from! <laughs> Uh, also, there are pits and bridges. Uh, those are obstacles we want to avoid, because if you will fall in a pit, well, I believe we'll see in a second. Uh, you can crush bridges. Uh, pits are the bi biggest obstacle, because there's a bit of a wind-up to the jump. And if you miss uh, the pit, then yeah, you miss a whole lot of stuff you could smash. And if you hit a bridge... Nope, oh, sweet nope, mother of God! Nope. Impact, no! <laughs> but yeah, there's a bit of wind-up for the before the uh, jump, so... Jumps are the bigger obstacles of the two, whereas your timing can be off for the bridge, but as long as you're in mid-jump, you can just smash them no problem. It's easy. <laughs> Which is good, because doors were close together. Is that intro se sequence, why was it, like, unnecessarily creepy? Like, did we need to see the metallic teeth? Or the metallic heart that's shaped like a cartoon heart still? I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is just what Impact is made of. Anyway, here's the wartime kabuki robot, Kashiwagi. He's our first impact fight. So, impact. Uh, I don't remember all the combos off the top of my head, so hey, future me, add those in. Uh, so, you've got basically a light punch, a light kick, and a grapple. You've also got the uh, Rio shot, which is, you know, it works off the money that impact has. So, it's lim limited ammunition, and I feel like just punching his projectiles works better. So, the grapple is very useful, you press the R button for that, and once you've hooked one of the, or once you've hooked the boss, rather, uh, basically you press A and B in order to reel him in, and then you can just punch him at your leisure. 
Uh, if you know any good combos, right about now would be time to use them. I believe that was a light, light, medium uh, attack right there. See, I know some of them. <laughs> Do you know your BMBs? I also happen to know that the strongest uh, option is basically just doing a full circle on the C-Stick and then pressing, I believe it's the uh, Z button, which is also uh, normally your Rio gun, the, the gun where you shoot money. Doing a full circle with buttons is awful. <laughs> you said C-Stick, but this is the 64, this, we have C-Buttons. Mm-hmm. Hey, good news about uh, emulators. You can assign controllers uh, whatever you want, so it was a stick for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm guessing there must be a good amount of lenience for that, because it's a... It, I see most runs using it, no problem. Anyway, here it is. You fire a laser. <laughs> Does a ton of damage. Pretty much the best attack option you have. But it does need time to charge. Uh, you might have noticed the uh, little center screen there. The sides of it glow when the laser is actually ready. And it's going to be charging over time. In fact, uh, actually being more active, uh, like right there, by destroying his uh, fake images, I was able to charge the laser pretty quickly. So, basically the best thing in general you can do uh, in an impact fight is to reel somebody in, get as many punch attacks as possible, and if you're able to, like, knock over the boss, then you can just laser them immediately afterwards, and that just... that's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, I believe there's also a way to do the Aura Aura thing. I think that's one of the combos, but not one I was able to do uh, for this fight, unfortunately. I'll have to see if I can figure out the Aura Aura thing later. So, can you imagine if you bought this game used, you knew who Goemon was, but you didn't know anything about this franchise, and it didn't come with a manual. So, after the first dungeon, you just get a giant robot, you had no idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, good job, Impact. You get him. <laughs> There's that award-winning smile. So that was the first episode of Going On, right? First, I have to get to America. I thought you were making some weird reference. I, I <laughs> no, didn't he's an American actor. And he didn't realize he, he was actually in America. What the hell is this? <laughs> I think one of the NPCs mentioned that before. I don't remember what happens in these videos. Breakdown! <laughs>